I spoke before about the Arnold lights, and I mentioned that we were only going to talk about two, the physical sky and the sky dome, and so far all we've done is make a physical sky. The Arnold lights are all designed to have a physical basis, which means that they're all both extremely powerful and in some ways really difficult to wrap your head around as a beginner. So to light up the candle, I'm actually going to come back to my Create menu, where Maya also has a set of lights. These lights are a little more primitive because they don't have a physical basis. So uh, they tend to be a little bit easier for beginners just for that. There are only two of them that you would ever really want to use. Those are the directional light, which I'll talk about when we talk about the insect, and the point light that I'm going to talk about right now. The point light will create a literal point of light. That point of light will emit light in all directions, and that's really all I'm looking to do right now. So I'm going to make a point light. You probably won't see any change in your render at first, but in this scene you'll note that I've got a point light right here. Let's just pull that up, and as I pull it up you can see it moving through the wax material. And again, oh, I don't like the transparency. I might change that material up, but I'm going to put it directly above the candle. Now you can see the effect of the point light here on the candle rim, here on the inside of the lantern. It could maybe be a little bit stronger, so let me take a look at it here in the attribute editor. The thing that I like about the point light is that it really only has two options. It has color and it has intensity. So intensity is the strength of the light and color is the color of the light that it casts. We're going for a candle light, and candles are usually somewhere in the red-orange spectrum, so I'll move this over to a red-orange hue, and then I will turn up the saturation. You don't really want to mess with value when you're dealing with lights. Lights have hue and they have saturation, but value is closely linked to their intensity. So if I turn the value down, I will actually be emitting less light. So I only want to do hue and saturation. So fine, I've picked a nice orange color. Let's make this more intense. I'm going to turn this up to 5. And now you can really see more of the candle light. If I go even higher, let's go up to 10. More of the candle light. So that is how you can control the point light. You just position it in the scene with the Move tool. Then, with it selected, it will load into the Attribute Editor and you can adjust its color and its intensity. Easy peasy. For the record, the Sky Dome light, you, I've selected it over here in the Outliner. Don't let me forget to tell you that. Here it is in the outliner. I can also adjust its color and its intensity. So if I wanted to have more of an effect from the sky dome light, I could turn this up to two and that would make it brighter. I kind of like it dark, um, so I could make it even darker by turning it down to 0.5. With the sky dome light, because it is casting all around the scene, you do want to be a little bit more careful with its intensity, so I wouldn't take this one all the way up to 5. That would probably blow out the scene completely. Uh, so the point light, I'm going to use higher numbers in the intensity, and the sky dome, I'm going to use smaller numbers. So maybe that looks good there. It is a little dark, but you know, you might want that. You might. The other thing that I'm going to do with the lighting is I'm going to turn on a really fancy special effect because right now, yes, I can see the effect of the point light, but I'm not seeing like a little ball of light. I'm not seeing rays of light shoot out, and I would like to have those. So for that effect, I'm going to go to the Windows menu, and under Rendering Editors, I'm going to open up the Render Settings window. The Render Settings window has two tabs that you might care about. The Common tab 
um, if we were doing more rendering work, we would care a lot about the things in here. But for the moment, in the common tab, the big thing that you're going to care about is that this is how you can change the image size. The image size that we're working with by default is 960 by 540, which is technically a preview size. And when you're ready to change this up to do a final render, you might want to come into the presets here and go up to HD 1080 for a full-size high-definition render. I'm not going to do that right now because we're still previewing and I want my computer to keep moving along happily. The bigger you go, the longer your renders are going to take. Over here in the Arnold Renderer tab, this is where we will control the sample settings that will make the render more or less grainy. Right now we're still previewing, so I'm going to leave these numbers alone. The effect that I'm going to use instead is an environment effect. The environment effect we're going to use is an atmosphere effect. If I click on this black and white box, I'm going to make an AI atmosphere volume. This is a really fun effect. I've added it to the scene, and it looks like nothing has happened. The reason nothing has happened is, very simply, that my effect has popped up in the attribute editor, and its density is set to zero. As I adjust this density setting, you will start to see the effect of the point light and um, I'm getting this really nice ball of light here where the point light is and I know the render hasn't entirely finished yet but in just a moment you will also see this lovely very subtle effect of the light coming out from the lantern. The higher the density setting the thicker this effect will be until eventually it just whites out the entire scene. So you want to go pretty slow with this bar because small effects can make big changes. So like this right here, 0.6 is way too big for this particular render. It's a nice thought, but no. So I probably want to keep this somewhere pretty low. Ah, candles just don't get that bright. So maybe, maybe right around there is going to be fine for me. So that's going to create my candle and my light and my light effect and that's all looking really fun. So I think I will do one more video that will probably be pretty short and in that one I will talk about the AA sample settings and that'll be pretty good. So I will see you for that.